Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Julie Mann and I show people how they can live healthy, happy, sustainable lives by changing their habits, excuse me, rustling paper, and using cutting edge products to help them age well. And I'm ever so excited because today I'm joined by Daniel Moore. And Daniel works as a brand strategist and also a graphic designer. So I'm gonna hand straight over to you, Daniel. I know that you're gonna be talking about building consistent brand habits, which sounds absolutely brilliant. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Julie. Um, yeah, so um, as, as, as Julie said, I'm a brand strategist and a graphic designer, um, but I didn't get here with one step. And that's probably one of the key things I'm going to be talking about when it comes to your your brand um, as an entity um, is that it doesn't just appear out of nowhere. Um, a lot of people see um, big, famous brands. So let's let's take sort of some of the top brands in the world, um, Apple, Disney, Nike, uh, things of that sort of nature. And they go, God. How did that even get there? And the reason is consistent, um, consistent growth, evolution, um, and the building of habits into the um, the very function of the business to make sure that everything is saying the same thing whenever someone comes across it. Because um, if you think about every interaction you have with a brand, they're trying to get an emotion or a feeling across to you. They're trying to make that um, uh, that interaction as good as possible. And to have you come away with a specific feeling around that brand, that's what the brand really is. It's something that's intangible. It's something that's inside the, the viewer, basically. Um, and so to do that, they need consistency. And to build consistency, you need to build habits into your brand and into your business. Um, so let's look at a couple of those, um, just sort of how you can start doing it and how you can um, how you can look at doing those into your business. The first thing you really want to do before you even start looking at this kind of thing is take an internalized look, uh, especially for small, medium businesses, owner led businesses, um, solopreneurs, anything of that kind of nature. If you're the face of your business, there needs to be a consistency to that as well. Um, and that consistency will come from your own values and your own sort of um, uh, your, your own outlook on, on how the, how the world looks. And if you can nail that down, you can create a more consistent set of habits around your brand. Um, so my first piece of advice for anyone trying to, to build, build brand habits is to, is to look at yourself first. Look inwards, discover more about yourself, find all those bits and pieces that you might have uh, sort of glazed over. Maybe you kind of know them, but you've never taken the time to write them down and put them, put them on paper. Get them down there because that way you're going to be able to notice any inconsistencies, any problems before you start trying to build these habits. Um, because if you build the habits off of a bad foundation, they're just they're just going to fall down. Um, so that's my first piece of advice. Get that done. Secondly, um, what you want to do when you're looking at your brand habits is you want to have a look at where you're going and where you've come from. So you're looking at this as a journey. And then with any journey, preparation is key. Um, but you want to try and take small steps rather than big leaps. So each small individual step is closer to your goal than the last one, um, but it won't end up tripping you up, basically. Um, so <laughs> you'll also notice I talk a lot in analogies. Um, so one of the things I try to tell to, to talk to my clients about is looking at their plan. So it's it's pretty it's pretty, um, pretty normal to go sort of, you know, look at a five-year plan, look at a 10-year plan, look at a 15-year plan. But also look at your um, your three week plan. What are you doing in the next three weeks, and what's what's going to change? Um, and breaking it up into smaller increments and doing small amounts each time builds a habit far better than going. I don't know. In six months' time, I want to have done this one big thing. Okay, that's great. But if you can break that down into okay, in a week's time, I want to have done this one small thing. You're already one step of the way there. And you start building these habits into your brand and start just sitting there going, great, I need to, you know, I've got a whole a whole host of things to do for the brand. I've got a load of identities to deal with. I've got a load of um, the brand's voice I've got to deal with, all these things. They can seem absolutely massive on the face of it. But if you sit there and go, okay, let's break this down into smaller chunks, you'll build yourself a, lo a, load, of, um, a load of consistency just by starting off that way. Um, because you're not taking on a huge, huge project at once. You're taking on smaller steps that are easily manageable that will also help you learn more about the brand as you go, which will mean any changes you notice that you're making when you're going, you'll be able to more quickly act, act towards, basically. Um, there'll, be, there'll be less... Um, if, you, if you try and do a huge thing at once, you find yourself in a position where you're doing the wrong thing 
it's easier to change if you're doing smaller things rather than rather than trying to do the big whack all at once. Um, so that's that's really the second piece of advice I go with brand uh, consistency is just just to, to be look look at what you're doing, make sure you're doing things for the right reasons, and if you do need to make a change, make sure that it's not such a change that you're going to um, cause yourself a problem further down the line, basically. Um, so that's the first two points. Um, then once you've started building your brand up. You have to look at the consistency of the brand in the future. You have to look at how that's always going to interact with people as you go on. And this is where doing these sort of first two steps really comes into play because you build yourself this brand um, uh, that has, has consistency baked into it. And once you have consistency baked into something, everything becomes habitual. If you can if you can sit there and go, hey, it's great. Every time we interact with someone, we always make them feel this, this and this. That's become a habit of the brand. And so that's what people are going to associate with the brand, because that's the real thing about uh, habits within brands um, is they are what create the consistency in the audience. And when an audience has a consistent view of a brand, it's a lot easier to know where your problems might lie. It's a lot easier to sell to them for starters. Um, and it's a lot easier to get people on board with, uh, with 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 whatever you're releasing for the brand as well. Um, so so really, those are the key three key factors for keeping your your um, your your brand consistent, um, but also building um, building that routine into your brand. Um, I've said brand a huge number of times here. <laughs> Um, but yeah, really, uh, in, in a nutshell, um, if you want to build habits within the brand, um, start small, make small steps, uh, make sure the changes stick before you move on to the next change. Um, and if something isn't working, don't be afraid to make a change to, to push it towards somewhere where it is working, um, because there's nothing worse than spending, you know, six months doing something, realize it's not working, and then to spend another six months before you try and change it, because by that point, you're even further from where you wanted to actually be. Brilliant, Daniel. I think <laughs> whatever you're doing, if you want success in anything, it's always about consistency, is it? Mm. Isn't it? And yeah. People do forget the small steps, the, the, the small steps consistently every day. It's about that consistency. So thank you ever so much. Appreciate that. I'm going to obviously put all your links below this video. So please, everyone, do check Daniel out. My links will be there as well. And, uh, you know, get in touch, ask him a question. So thank you ever so much, Daniel, for sharing your, your nuggets there. And um, thank you, everyone else, for watching. Thank you.